Hi, welcome to Club Corky. We are talking about mom stuff this week and it is the beginning of a new year. And what a lot of times people do at the beginning of a new year is set different resolutions, whether it be for losing weight or being healthier in general, or my resolution is to clean this closet. It has been hanging over my head for the entire year. It's getting worse by the month and I'm starting to feel like a hoarder because I can no longer even enter the closet. It's a walk-in closet and now I just open the door and throw. So we are going to tackle this closet. If you saw my leadership video about procrastinating, this is my frog. This is the thing that I'm going to feel so glad when it's done. I'm going to actually probably find a bunch of stuff that I didn't even know I had and I'm going to be able to have a tornado place because a lot of times there's tornadoes in Wisconsin and we need to go to this closet. Well, if there's a tornado, we're not getting in. What we're going to do is first empty out everything out of the closet. This needs to be a full day affair. So I need to make sure I have enough time because it's going to take like an hour to get everything out. And then I have to make time to organize and go through it. I might need to make time to go to Walmart and get some containers. I don't even, I can't buy containers ahead of time because I don't even know what needs a container. And I think I'm going to need to go to Goodwill and drop off at least half of what's in that closet. So first we will start by emptying everything out. Let's do it. Dun, 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 the dreaded closet. Earlier, the light bulb was even broken. At least I fixed that, but check this out. Okay, here's where you walk in. And there's even something on the floor. That's great, I don't know what that is. But if we could get in here, which you'll see when we empty this out, it, get all, it only gets worse. There's the wall, and then this goes around the corner, and there's even more crap back there. And so, yeah, it's not gonna be pretty. But here's my before shot. We'll see the after. Oh, you can kind of see I'm sweating profusely I'm actually dressed to go to a party and so that was maybe not my best choice to do this right now but as you can see we did it empty we need some cleaning and we need some mold control apparently but that then we have this, that was all full. And check this out. My entire living room, I almost ran out of space. I don't even know how this fit in that closet. Actually, I'm kind of impressed with myself that I could fit it. Hello there, I am in my closet and I am waterproofing the walls. So I got this dry lock waterproofer for, I'm assuming for basements, and I already did half the room. It's real thick. I did it back here too. It's real thick, so it takes longer than regular paint, but it's actually not taking very long. That part of the room took me like 10 minutes. and. Then I'm going to paint the rest of this room behind me and then let it dry so I can start putting stuff back in here in an organized fashion.
Okay, I figured I better take a in progress video. It is three days after I initially cleaned up the closet, so it's been a disaster. I said originally do it all in one day. I didn't take my own advice. So I'm sweating profusely. It is the finale of The Voice in one hour, so I'm on a time crunch. I've been working on this for about two hours. I got diverted by looking at old photos, which was kind of fun, but not the key to staying on a schedule. So here's what I have so far. Getting pretty cleared out. These are some things that I need to sell. Still some crap laying around. Got to go through the crafts. But it's getting cleared out. The closet is looking real nice. The paint was the key. And I'm organizing things by when I need them. So I need the suitcases frequently, I need the wrapping paper, and I need the blankets and pillows. So now those are easy to get to. Music stuff that we never use but I don't want to get rid of. Crutches that we hopefully never use again. And it turns out I have a ton of keepsakes. So I put those in the way back. I'm really sad that they don't stack two up on there, but they're out of the way. And the biggest help was having my husband pull in this trailer of crap. So this is all stuff that I'm throwing away that was in the closet. Having that handy makes it real nice for getting rid of stuff. Basement is back to being clean. These are for sale. And the finished product. Suitcases, vacuum, easy access wrapping and crafts. Use all the blankets and pillows. Music stuff in the corner. Keepsakes and keepsakes. And look at all this extra space. I can walk in, I can use my tornado room for a tornado now. Go me. Well, that was a huge job. I do feel so much better that it's clean. Now I'm starting to feel like my other closets need some work, but there's nothing even close to this closet level of badness. I also was thinking that maybe I like organizing things and maybe I should start like a side business where I organize other people's stuff. And so maybe this could be my before and after picture where I say, look at how bad this was and then look at how good it was. So if you liked this organization or if you feel good about yourself because you don't have any closets as bad as mine give this video a like or even better subscribe to my channel because I feel like if this is gonna be my new full-time job in the future and I need 10 million subscribers um, how is that gonna happen unless you guys help me I don't even know how that works I don't even know how you get paid to have subscribers but I feel like that would be more fun to make videos like this then it would be to go to my office job, nine to five, eight to five every day. So anyway, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next week for teen stuff, talking specifically about YouTube.